the 70s, the late 70s were exciting, dangerous times mm -hmm. to be in political work. You worked with Dr. Rodney. He captured the imagination of many people. Why? Well, first of all, he was a very charismatic person. I and mean, he was an extraordinary speaker. I mean, to watch him at the public meeting um, really catch the attention and hold the attention of, you know, thousands of people. He was, uh, and you know, he, he was an extraordinary simple man. In his political work, he, he was very upset with the PNC government at the time. He was. Tell me some of the things he was, you know, that, that really got him going. Well, I think that he felt that they had let the country down, that they had a real opportunity to move the country forward and didn't think that they were doing it properly. They were, you know, um, you know, his, his great cry was people's power, no dictator. So he was very much against authoritarian behavior, authoritarian um, attitudes. And, um, you know, it was something they were not prepared to, prepared to take on. I mean, it was an e enormous sacrifice and uh, you know, he was altogether too trusting, I think. Too trusting? Yes. He was. I mean, he, he trusted Gregory Smith. I mean, he trusted, you know, trusted people and uh, took people at their word. And... Well, he, well, he was killed June 13th. Of course. Years ago. Yes. The WPA and yourself had said he was killed by the PNC government. Mm -hmm. Are you still convinced of that? I am, yes. I mean, I think that he, you know, he, he posed a, a certain kind of threat to them, I suppose. And, um, you know, he was... Um, we, we never really quite understood, um, you know, what, what he was doing, um, you know, with, with Gregory Smith, what he was doing with a bomb in his car and stuff like that. And, he couldn't do something like that. <laughs> I, find it, I find it very improbable, frankly. I've always found it very improbable. Why would he be taking some small explosive to blow up the jail? Right? You know, but it's, you know, no, I, that never washed for me. It has been 40 years, but if Dr. Rodney was alive today, mm -hmm. how do you suppose he would feel about the current political crisis in the country? Well, I think he would, he would deplore the lack of empowerment of ordinary people. He would deplore the condition of the villages. He was, he was very passionate about several things. One of them he was passionate about was the, you know, the, the village development, the development of ordinary people. And he was passionate about, um, you know, uh, racial healing. Uh, and to a large extent, we have attempted to keep those aspects of his, of his thinking in our own day-to-day -day practice. You know? mm -hmm. Would, you're speaking uh, for yourself, mm -hmm. do you feel that uh, given the three months into the elections period that, that your party should concede a defeat at these elections? Is that something Dr. Rodney would have done? Do you believe the PPP has won these elections? Well, I don't know. I'm waiting on GCOM. It's all very confusing, frankly. I don't know what has happened. I mean, if the PUP has won the elections, and that's what the, the uh, Elections the Commission... Has shown that. Well, then the Elections Commission should make a declaration. And once they make a declaration, of course it should be respected. You know, we, we, have, to, we have to get over all of that and really recognize that we owe the country um, you know, really responsible leadership and, um, and go on with the work. There's enough to do, you know, in Guyana.